<laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. What? What? No. No. We'll do it live. God. What? Oh. 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 Uh, hey. Hey, hey, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do an unboxing for the Road Broadside. So it's not really an unboxing. It's an unenveloping. And um, But you're going to need to get pretty comfortable because there's a, just a shit ton of babble coming your way via me in just one second. But first, let's check in with the Magic Duff Bucket to see what, uh, what is worthy of this occasion. And um, today we have <laughs> three Floyds. Blot out the sun. I know I said that Ale Smith Speedway Stout was my favorite stout. That was just a goddamn lie. Because this, this is it. This I was saving for a very special occasion. And this is a very special occasion. So I'm opening this thing. And I know what you're thinking. Jesus Christ, Jeff. That is a huge, huge bottle. But this bottle is going to last me through... Two unboxings, the Road Broadside, as I said earlier, and this package, which came from Suntup, unannounced, unexpected, and um, yeah. So what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to pour this, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the Road Broadside. Um, back in December, Paul announced that he was going to give a gift to his um, customers. Anybody who had purchased anything from him ever was eligible to fill out this form and get a letterpress printed broadside of the last paragraph of the best book ever written, which is The Road. Just, just because. I mean, you know... It's, 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 like, it's like he decided to go above and beyond because apparently throwing upgraded materials into a book mid-production mid wasn't enough. Getting additional signatures on books um, just for the fun of it wasn't enough. So he decided to print letterpress this broadside um, because, I, I don't know, I guess if you look up Suntup, the address for Suntup must be above and beyond because that is the only place he exists. And it's amazing. And so when he, he decided to give this gift, I was beside myself because I, I lost my mind when he just was going to do the road. I, to me, that was just, I, I could have stopped collecting books altogether there because that, my God. So for him to choose this book to give a free gift around um, and, and something that I knew would be done perfect, just exquisitely, um, I was just, I lost my mind. So a lot of time went by and I started seeing people opening and showing pictures of their road broadside. And I was like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. And I kept waiting and waiting and waiting and I didn't get it in the mail. And, and Paul and uh, Becca said, if, if you don't receive it by this date, fill out this form and let us know that you didn't get it. And of course, who's the jackass that has to fill out that form? Me. Paul goes and does something great for people, and I have to give him a headache by complaining that I didn't get mine. And it made me feel like crap, really. I mean, it's like, how do you ask somebody, where's my gift, man? You said I'd get a gift, where's my gift? It's just a jackass place to be. But could I have not asked for that uh, broadside? It's just, I mean, I could not have not asked. And I'm sure Paul didn't think I was a jackass for that and for other things, I'm sure. But, um, you know, but all in all, it's, it's just a hard thing to ask for. But it arrived. And, you know, when did it arrive? The moment I walk out the door to get in a cab to go to the airport for a work trip, this thing shows up. And then this thing shows up the next day. We're not, we're not even getting to this in this video. But <coughs> as soon as I leave... I get three packages. I get the broadside, um, this mystery box from Suntup, and um, a, a cemetery dance uh, book that I have to unbox. The moment I walk out the door, these all these things show up. So I'm playing catch up a little bit. And if impatience is something you could die from, 
I'd have needed medical attention because when I was told that these boxes were waiting for me, in particular this one, I just, I couldn't, I almost drove back and left my job. But anyway, here it is. Something of a dream come true right here. Something. So, of course, it said do not bend, but it was bent here. Whatever. It's going to happen. He shipped a priority. Yeah, because I felt bad enough that I had to ask for my gift, and he ships a priority at his expense. I, I, I mean, oh, man. So here's the envelope that it'll remain in until I get a frame for it. My dog's losing her mind. I don't know why. I don't know why. Here it is. Printed letterpress. And um, I saw the video. He, he put a video up of, of, the, of the making of this. And it was printed on a machine that I'm sure has eaten human fingers before. Because Willow. She's like digging at the chair. Willow, please. Um. It, the, they were snatching these letterpress printed sheets out of the printer as it's like clamping and trying to eat them. So there's like human peril involved in making this thing. It was really a cool video to watch. And um, I'm not taking it out of the, the sheet right now, but you, you could feel the texture of the page. And, and this is something that definitely will be framed and put up next to my copy of The Road and cherished, just absolutely cherished. I, I reread the book. I just finished rereading the book when, uh, when this was coming out. And it's, it's, it's just, you don't even get the power of this paragraph until you read that book. So anyway, that's it. It comes with this description of the road broadside and it tells you, um, what, you know, what the text is set. The text is hand set in Jess, in Jess and metal foundry type. You got to see the video. I, I could try to link to it. You see this video of how this thing got printed and you're just, it's amazing. It's beautiful. And it really does show the wonderful art form that Suntup is bringing back to uh, book binding. And I'm sure other publishers are doing it, but this is like putting, putting on more people's radar. And it's, it's just, uh, it's like, well done. Come on. So, Anyway, that's my unboxing for the Road Broadside, and um, I am happy to share that with you. I'm so thrilled to have it, and um, thank you, Paul, for all you've done and all you continue to do, and it is really, really something special. I'm glad I could be part of it, and that is something I'm definitely going to cherish, and sorry you had to send me something special off to the side. Anyway, that's it. Until next time, which is going to be like 30 seconds from now when I get into this, I'll see ya.